Yo, hello everybody. Welcome into the stream. Chat. Give me one moment, chat. <clears throat> I am uh, finishing preparations. Give me uno momento. Eins moment. Is that how you say moment in German? I actually don't remember. It's been too long. It's been too long since I missed a German class, chat. Ah, oh, gosh. Alright. We look like we are just about ready. Let me get the the analyzers on, and then we're, we'll begin. We'll be ready. Are the hemorrhoids doing the Harlem Shake? You know it, Rosie Sims. Welcome into the stream, Rosie. You came at just the right time. Because I have now completed the outfit. Welcome, everybody, back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. All right. Now, last time we completed episode one in Trials and Tribulations, Turnabout Memories. And now we're going to be going on to the next chapter in the rest of this game. We will be finding out all of the twists and turns that this game has to offer. Attorney Rister enters the chat. It'd be like that sometimes. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna continue. This was our first game save. This is our second game save. This is our third game save. Let's go, boys. I got a cold one. I didn't have any coffee left. I could not bring coffee today, but I have a cold soda. The time is 1 a.m. Beep, 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 beep. I forgot to plug my phone in, but I'll watch this. Oh? Detective, we made it. Phew. What a relief. Glad the jewel is still safe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you shit it, pal. Must have been on rock solid security that scared him off. Would you mind opening the shave just to double check? My gumshoe. All right, all right. Open it up. Open up this safe. Is is it not inside? It's not gonna be inside, is it? This is a complicated safe. R.I.P. Coffee. <gasps> ah, we've been had. Mask to mask. Salutations. Uh, out front. Guards, turn on the searchlights. Ha 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 ha. Better luck next time, gentlemen. Oh my god. My dear god. Ha 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 ha. Excuse me, but I'm afraid I must be leaving now. Oh my god, he just goes off into the moon. That's crazy. We shall meet again. When the moon is f next, when the next moon is full. <laughs> oh my God! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Jesus! Let me plug in my phone, dude. Oh, October 11th. Wright and Co. Law Offices. Hey, Nick! Get a load of this. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, A.K.A. Rosie, this is Maya. Uh, Mia's younger sister. She is our assistant. Hey, are you listening to me? You can clean the toilet later. This is important. <sighs> what are you freaking out about now? And we're Phoenix. We we are good old buddy sneezing boy Phoenix. <laughs> Today will be the last time you talk to me be that way. Thanks for filling me in. LOL. No problem. Huh? We're about to hit the big time. Big time? And what do you mean by we? You don't mean you and me are... Ha! Don't be silly. I'm talking about me and Pearly, of course. Okay. And Maya and Pearl are cousins. All right, just filling everybody in. Hello, it's a pleasure to see you again, Mr. Nick. Pearls, you haven't changed a bit. Wait, what are you doing here anyway? <laughs> haven't you heard, Mr. Nick? Here, take a look at this. What's this, some kind of poster? Oh God. Treasure, treasure exhibition, Sacred Urn Karain Village. Karine Village, isn't that? That's right, it's our hometown. Pearly in mine, that is. What's this about treasures from the boonies? <laughs> Very funny. You can laugh all you want. But you'll be singing another, another tune tonight. Tonight? What about tonight? The Treasures of Karine exhibit doesn't actually start until next week, but the promoter sent us some special VIP entry passes. That's why I dressed up extra special today. What do you think, Nick? <laughs> Same Maya, different day. 
Oh, is this young lady here is my effect? I guess I didn't need to fill you in because Phoenix was just gonna do it himself. This young lady here is my effect. The younger sister of Mia Fei, my friend and mentor. I first met her two years ago. I was working on the case surrounding Mia's death, and ever since then... I've been the one who's been keeping this law office afloat from behind the scenes. Oh, I bet. Actually, that's just a cover for her true identity. In reality, she's a spirit medium, and a bit of a shady character. <laughs> hey, who are you calling shady? Uh oh. And this little girl is Pearl Fay, but I usually call her Pearls. She's Maya's cousin and a spirit medium in training herself. I know I'm a bit young, but I want to help in any way I can, Mr. Nick. I like the character introductions here. I love this. Karine Village is the home of the mysterious Karine channeling technique. And Maya here is the daughter of the Karine School of Channeling's master. Yes, I know about that. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's no joke. I've seen her power with my own eyes. It's the real thing, all right. Earth to Nick, how long are you gonna make two? Oh, okay, hold on. Just gotta check, right? Oh, oh, he's got Phoenix as a profile, okay. Me, what more can I say? This is my third year as a young but skilled lawyer. Look at our boy, Phoenix. 26, we finally get his age. 26, 19, okay. So he's like, so he's seven years older. I don't know how I feel about that still. Okay, that's fine. Did she grow up? She's nine now. <laughs> I love deceased. Okay, sorry. Yes, Mr. Nick, I can't wait any longer. I want to see the exhibit. It's legal, but weird. Uh, looks like I don't get a choice here. Might as well head on out. Well, here's the thing about it, right? It's not like Phoenix or Maya is pursuing it, but everyone around them makes jokes about them being a couple. So it's like, you know, you gotta make sure, chat, right? Treasure exhibition. Oh god, it's in the court record? Oh no. Lordy Taylor, main exhibit hall. Lordy Taylor, the city's fanciest and most expensive department store. Treasure exhibit, huh? I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed. This is gonna be bad. Oh, is Mask the Mask or whoever the heck is gonna show up? Wow, this is awesome. My glasses are foggy, chat. Give me one second. By the way, every time we do something and we go out somewhere, someone dies. All right. How come Nick and Maya are cursed? Wherever they go, someone just someone just dies, and we have to defend whoever is getting accused. It's like the lawyer's curse. Yeah, you can make even the cheapest junk look great. <laughs> it all depends on how you display it. Oh, they even have the dusty old hanging scroll that was in the Fay Manor storeroom. Oh yeah, I remember scribbling on it when I was a little girl. On a family heirloom? Say, Nick, the person in charge of this exhibition is waiting for us in the basement warehouse. Okay, chat. It's a lovely day for death. Okay, I have to tell Rosie about this, right? Um, when I fa when I played the first game in this series, I voiced Phoenix, and then I had my friend, the Epic Blazing guy, voicing, like, the prosecutor man named Edgeworth. And we were talking, right? And I was like, oh, how funny would it be if we got Rosie Sims to voice Maya? So we would have Edgeworth as Shane, Phoenix, Rister, Maya. We would just get a ton of people to voice the different characters, like what we did for the first Danganronpa game. But then I was like, you know what? Maybe not. <laughs> All right. I guess we should go say hello. Oh god, where are we going? I don't know. Basement warehouse. Oh god. Lordy Taylor, basement warehouse. Yep, this is a basement warehouse, alright. This place is scary. I feel like a monster could jump out at any time. Don't be so scared, Pearly. I'll protect you. Oh, Mr. Wright. Eee! A monster! You were right! Huh? A monster? <gasps> Yo! Good evening, it's good to see you again. Y you, I know you. <laughs> nice to see you again too, little miss. Ah, uh, hello. Oh my god, is she a friend of yours, Nick? And how do you know her, Pearly? Oh my god, she was in the, the final case of the last game. Oh my gosh. I'm glad she's doing better. She's smiling now for one. Nice to meet you, I'm Adrian Andrews. I'm in charge of the promotion and planning for this treasure exhibit. I'm also responsible for the security arrangements. Oh, um, nice to meet you. Adrian sure has changed since we last met. 
So this is the warehouse. The really valuable exhibit items are stored away in here. How are you doing? It really has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Wright? Nick, what's going on? Who is this woman? <laughs> Have you been seeing other ladies? Ah, why are you freaking out on me? What? I just thought it'd be more dramatic if I got all worked up. That's all. There we go. Ms. Maya, you shouldn't let him off the hook so easily. <laughs> Please, Maya, don't say anything that'll needle pearls further. Mr. Wright was there for me when I really needed help. It, it was something that happened seven months ago. You remember, don't you? The Nickel Samurai case? Not really. I was stuck in a dark wine cellar. Did that escape your memory, Nick? After that, I quit being a manager and started this job. Well, that's tough. I'm sorry, Miss Andrews. If it wasn't for us... No, don't say that. I'm glad the whole thing happened. Thanks to you and everyone else that was involved, I was able to change my whole life. I really am grateful. Phew, that's a relief. I almost got you convicted of murder falsely because I thought it would protect my record, but you know what? I'm glad I didn't do that. <laughs> I'm really impressed, Miss Andrews. Handling a huge exhibition like this must be very tiring. Oh, well, Lord Edie Taylor is celebrating their 200th anniversary this year. This works on display in the main exhibition- in the makes in the exhibition hall are worthy of the finest museums. Woohoo! Did you hear that, Pearly? The finest museums. Yes, I did. That's really wonderful. So this basement warehouse is pretty well protected, huh? You know, from any masked thieves or anything. Of course it is. After all, there are some priceless treasures here. The security guards are all very highly trained as well. That sounds good. So, what is with that face she's making? Oh god, it better not be old bag. If it's old bag, I swear to god. By the way, ladder. Look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on how na on, on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right, sorry. Why do I feel like we've had this exact same conversation before somewhere? Because you've had it like 50 times. Okay. Um, oh, God. Okay. The way you voice Pearl's hilarious. Thank you. I'm basing it off of um, Himiko from Danganronpa. I don't, it's like the same voice. What are you doing, Stepladder? All right, Diamond. Mystic Maya, take a look next to the door. That, that's Mystic Ami, right? Oh, yes. That's a statue of the woman who invented the Karine channeling technique, Ami Fei. The statue is on loan from one of the training halls of the Fei branch family. In fact, it just arrived this morning. Oh god, it's in the, it's in the freaking court record. That's how you know it's going to be involved in some kind of murder. A statue of the founder of the crying channel I think is holding the shishito. Okay. What's that creepy looking thing she's holding? Don't ask me. How should I know? Well, you are the future master, right? Maybe so, but this is the first time I've ever seen this statue. That thing is the Karayan Shishito. It's a ceremonial sword. It's definitely going to be used as a murder weapon sometime in the near future. It's not a real weapon, so the blade isn't sharp. Okay, okay. Aw, phooey. I wanted to cut someone. I mean something. <laughs> what are you eyeing me for? <laughs> oh, look. It's already ate. Have you all eaten yet? Oh, <laughs> my treat. Well, actually, I've already made a reservation at the restaurant on the 12th floor. Why don't we all die? Oh, oh, okay, okay, Adrian. I like the sound of that. Dying. It sounds so fancy. I'll have the kids lunch. <laughs> Dude, Pearly, it's dinner, not lunch. Why don't you go for it and really eat your fill with a kid's dinner? Oh. Okay, in that case, one kid's dinner for me. <laughs> Shall we head upstairs then? Yo, I, yo, Adrian? Yo, kind of low key though. After the pleasant evening, we all remained was to wait for the exhibition's opening. It was wonderful seeing Miss Andrews looking so happy. None of us could have imagined that the very next day, something terrible would happen. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm glad Adrian is doing so well. Oh my gosh. I, I'm watching, like, playthroughs of the previous game, right? And, like, just seeing her, like, in the last game, in the final case, like, all depressed and suicidal, that was, it's so awful. So I'm glad she's actually doing really well. That really makes me happy. <laughs> Nick, this is terrible. What the? You're cleaning the toilet again? I never knew you were such a toilet freak. Give me a break, would you? My brain just hit the snooze button for the fifth time. Um, I'm going to turn on the TV. Okay. We're all, we, we get all our murder news. Mm. We've got an update on the recent treasure heist. Based on clues found at the scene of the crime, authorities have announced that they believe it was the work of the renowned phantom thief, Mask the Mask. 
M mask the Mask? According to a spokesperson, Lord Lee Taylor received a threat letter some days ago. This is the fifth heist by this phantom thief who only targets rare treasures. Lord Lee Taylor? Well, Nick, what are you gonna do? Don't you dare go back to scrubbing the toilet. Treasure, Lord Lee Taylor, you don't think... Yes, now get up, Nick, it was stolen by Master Mask. Our most valuable treasure. The crying secret urn was stolen. What? Okay, it's not a murder, though. I, I thought we were supposed to be, okay, refresh my memory a little. What's the sacred urn? It's only the most important treasure in Crime Village, that's all. Look, it's right there on the poster. Yeah, the one that Pearl broke, I am. It's still got, it's still misspelled. <laughs> Don't you remember what's inside? The urn contains a very important soul. What kind of name is Mask to Mask? It's got a kind of a ring to it, doesn't it? Namely, the soul of the mystic, uh, the mystic Ami Fei. You guys can see that this urn says I am. It's supposed to say Ami, but Pearl broke it and put it back together incorrectly. So it says I am now. <laughs> right, Pearly? Uh, yes, that's right. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Oh, I think they're gonna talk about it. I thought that urn had the name Ami written on it. Now it says I am. Hmm, any idea how that happened, Pearly? I uh, will. <laughs> there are some things best left unsolved, wouldn't you say, Mr. Nick? <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, that's right. One year ago, there was a murder in Karine Village, Maya's hometown. The sacred urn, it turned out to be an important clue in that case. She did try her best. She did try. Oh my god. A uh, frick. Okay. In the court record? Okay, the toilet is shinier than the judge's head, so let's see what's next. What's wrong with you, Nick? What do you mean? What do you mean what- Mr. Nick! Your beloved Mystic Maya's treasure has been stolen. Doesn't that even bother you? But I thought the urn was the village's treasure, so I don't see how- The village is Mystic Maya. She's the future master of the Crown School of Channeling. You know what I'm talking about, Mr. Nick? I won't let you say you don't. Oh, okay, okay, I do. So what am I supposed to do about it? Isn't it obvious? Go and find the bad guy who did this. Yeah, and get the sacred urn back. But I'm not a detective. That has nothing to do with this. If you're a real gentleman, you would find it for your beloved music, Maya. Man, oh man, there's no winning against Pearl's fairy tale ima image of love. <laughs> so what's the name of this bad guy again? Mask to mask, Nick. Make a note of it. Mask to mask. Always have the star. Okay. I was terrible. I was arrested and everything. <laughs> oh yeah. Being accused of murder was awful, wasn't it? Ah, one year ago, the murder in Karine Village. I remember, I remember. A man was killed during one of my spirit channelings, and this urn wound up being the key piece of evidence that proved her innocence. Uh, Mr. Nick, would you mind not telling Mr. Maya about that? You promised, remember? You said you wouldn't tell anyone that I broke the urn. Oh yeah, that's right. Thanks for saying it out loud. Now I remember, this urn used to say Ami on it. <clears throat> <laughs> Are they gonna- Oh, they're gonna show us this again. I hate seeing this picture of her crying until Pearl's accidentally broken into a million pieces. She tried to secretly fix it. Let's just say it didn't work out so well. I'm sorry. I'm not so good at arts and crafts. Spelling either. <laughs> oh. Anyway, this is how our gluing project turned out. She put the pieces together wrong and now it says- uh, And now instead of Ami, it says I am. <sighs> okay. I can't believe no one's noticed this until now, a whole year later. I can't believe in myself. <laughs> okay, so can we- No, I didn't wanna- I, I pressed backspace and enter at the exact same time. Yeah, right? Maya's literally just like, Pearl, you did what? <laughs> right? She said it herself, dude. I like everything going super fast. It's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> just like- <laughs> Just like speeding like past the gunshot and the shattering noise. Okay, backspace. I guess we'll go to the hall or whatever. Lordly Taylor. Great, let's see if we can find some clues. Okay. This seems really um, light, like, light spirited. I like, there's definitely going to be a murder later. I can already tell. But it doesn't look like anything has been disturbed. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same as it did last night. Mm, bad guy, huh? Hey, you can't poke around here. Oh, you can't poke around here, pal. Wait a minute, that voice. Oh no, not him again. Eh, <laughs> hey, it's you, and I'm the one who should be saying not again. Why is it that every time something bad happens, you always show up, pal? 
I should be asking you that. Aren't there any other detectives? <laughs> no, I should be asking you that. What are you doing hanging around here? Hey, I asked you first. Why are you here any... All right, all right, we got it. Why don't you two kiss and make up? All right, oh, kiss gumshoe? Every day, every day. Um, hello, it's been a long time, Mr. Scruffy Detective. <laughs> oh, it's you, little missy. Um, eh. Uh, actually, my name is Gumshoe, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Now is a good chance for you to try and remember it right. And if it's too long for you, you can just call him Dick. <laughs> okay, it's good to see you again, Mr. Detective Dick. <laughs> Um, yeah, good to see you again, too, I guess. <laughs> oh, no, poor Gumshoe. Uh, Mr. Detective Dick, can you tell <laughs> No, is she gonna do this the whole game? Please. Oh, you're trying to remember my name, Edda girl. Uh, it's just Gumshoe, okay? Anyway, the thief stole something called the Sacred Urn. I know about that. Oh, well, the criminal's name is Master Mask. I know about that, too. <laughs> Detective, can't you tell us something other than that? Well, well, I guess I sort of kind of owe you guys, in a way. The crime occurred last night at around 1.30 in the morning. How exactly do you know that? Uh, we got an emergency phone call from a guard at the scene of the crime, pal. He said the inn was just stolen. The scene of the crime? You mean here, right? Wrong. That urn was being kept under careful guard in the basement warehouse. Basement warehouse, huh? Um, so who is guarding the basement warehouse? That guy! It's all his fault the thief got away, pal! He solves one case and gets a swelled head, thinking that he's an ace detective. Ace detective? What? Hey, Detective Gumshoe, about this Mask to Mask. Is he famous? What? You're joking, right, Nick? Mask to Mask is the hottest thing since sliced bread. Sometimes he appears as a museum guard. Sometimes he appears as a big brown bear known to surprise unsuspecting victims. But underneath those disguises is the true Master Mask. So he's some kind of master of disguise, huh? And he only goes after the finest workers of war, pal. Last night was his fifth heist. If Lord Lee Taylor had only cooperated, I could have caught him this time. What? Then you knew he was planning on stealing the sacred urn? Of course I did. The guy always sends his calling card before he steals something. He's like Joker from Persona 5. If you've ever played that game, it's, it's kind of like the same thing. They even called him a phantom thief earlier in the in the video in the episode, I think. So, uh, I, I think it's pretty much inspired. Calling card, huh? They mentioned that on TV. So, why do you call him an ace detective anyway? That's what he calls himself, pal. I didn't make it up. Eh? What's he like? Uh, well, like I told you, Master Mask has made five heists so far. On the fourth heist, Mr. Ace Detective managed to get the stolen treasure back. Wow, that is impressive. All by himself? Yeah, I got in minute, pal. Maybe he really is as good as he says. Every time the thief sends one of his calling cards, we send our men on a stakeout. But none of us have ever gotten so much as a glimpse of the guy. But Mr. Ace Detective was able to retrieve the stolen treasure from the thief. Anyway, he's at the scene of the crime right now, looking for clues. So he's down in the basement warehouse, huh? So what's this calling card? Here it is. But don't show it to anyone. It's top secret, okay, pal? What's this mark on the front? It's Master Mask's signature emblem, pal. You could say it's his mark. All of his calling cards have got it on them. And they didn't mention that on the newsflash. Uh, we're withholding that detail from the public for operational reasons. The only way we can tell if it's a bra, you could have just set up guards near the objects. The only way we can tell if a calling card is real or not is by this emblem. Okay, that's that's actually good. Step before high emblem tax secret. Gotcha. Oh, hello, Golden Cat Rar. I love the dab. Thank you. That makes sense. When you get famous, there are always imitators. Mr. Nick, if you work a little harder, maybe you can have your own cappy cat someday. Um, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay. Thank you, Dick, for all of that. Uh, I guess we'll go to the warehouse. I want to talk with Adrian. Oh, the sword is broken. Okay, Lordly Taylor Basement Warehouse. No matter how many times we come here, this place always gives me the chills. That's probably because it's air conditioned to protect the art pieces, you know. Welcome to my private little banquet of chaos. Huh? What the heck does that mean? Is this XQC? Look at the schnozzer on this guy. 
I'm afraid I have very little to offer, but please make yourself at home. Dude? <laughs> uh, um, who are you anyway? Silence! Eyeball! <laughs> now I see, it's all becoming clear. What do you see? <laughs> it's Rari! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium, neither very advanced at their trade. Am I wrong? Yikes, that's scary. How did you know that? <laughs> How, you say? The universal skeptic would say that is nothing but a question of why. I am a traveler of both time and space, and it's a swimmer of dream. Okay, you can shut up already. Look at the nose, chat. <laughs> exactly. What is he talking about? I can't make heads or tails of it. Without further ado, let me fulfill what shall be the first duty of any gentleman. And introduce myself. The name is at me. Look at me. Oh my god, his name is literally look at me. His name is literally look at me. Oh my god, that's funny. Ace Detective. Oh, um, hi. Don't let him intimidate you, Nick. Stand up and show him what you're made of. Um, my name's Wright. Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney. <laughs> I'm my FA. Ace Spirit Medium. <laughs> and I'm, um, Profe. I'm Mrs. Maya's cousin and, um, Spirit Medium Ace Apprentice. <laughs> Excellent! Well then, shall we begin our little game? Game? Why does the phrase one short of a baker's dozen come to mind with this guy? Ace Detective? Um, so are you really as famous as you say? Of course, for a lawyer, you have a rather shocking lack of knowledge about the world. I had no idea anyone was left in the city that had not heard of me. Look at me. Oh my god. I am Mask to Mask's arch enemy, the Ace Detective. Look at me. At this moment, there are two mighty figures which loom large over this grand city. One embodies the nefarious forces of darkness, the other the angelic cherubs of light. Boy, now I'm really lost. What is he saying, Nick? I have been personally on the heels of this villain since his first crime. After learning this criminal's patterns, I thwarted his very latest loathsome larceny. I have even returned the target of his tyranny, the portrait of Magina, to the crime scene. And I did it all by myself. I took it back from mask to mask. Honestly, mask is cooler, at me is ugly. He is kind of ugly, bro. With my brawny mind and my brilliant muscles. What? <laughs> yeah, they mentioned on the news in the Great People Around Town segment. They said that the museum gave you an incredible jewel as a reward. Well, compared to the treasure that I retrieved for them, it's not much. So, in the end, the only thing that makes you great is your own self-praise. Well, tell me about Master Mask. How about that, boy? Oh, tell us what you know about Master Mask, and keep it simple, please. Like about how I have devoted my life to thwarting his dastardly deeds. Last night, here in the bowels of this star, we were locked in a most glorious battle. I see. Huh? Hang on a second. You were here last night? Here, in Lordly Taylor. Naturally, wherever Mask to Mask goes, you will find at me laying his elegant traps. Elegant traps? More like Mask out elegance you and made a beautiful getaway. But at this time, I allowed him to escape with the illusion of victory. I wonder if I should ask him about what happened last night in more detail. Oh god. So you lost to him. Exactly, Diamond. Um, can you tell us exactly what happened here last night? But of course! After all, I always say there should be no secrets between aces. Flattery will get you nowhere, Pinocchio. <laughs> Call him Pinocchio. Oh, chat. Does anyone go to the yard for this guy's milkshakes? I don't think so. I first received the request for my services 20 days ago. And it was 10 days ago that we received Mask to Mask's calling card. Huh? You were hired before the calling card even arrived? Yes. You see, the person who hired me is quite rigorous and thorough. That's Adrian for you. A mere 10 days after hiring me, her worst premonitions were realized. A calling card arrived, right? <laughs> no, you. <ew. laughs> yes, so ace detective that I am, I set up a trap for the thief right in the warehouse. And waited for him. Alone. Alone? But why? Why didn't you go to the police for help? 
Ridiculous! Why would I seek help from such a singularly useless group of nincompoops? You've got a lot of nerve. After all, it was you that let the mask get away. I always operate alone and concealed, out of sight of others. Uh, corn sealed? Oh, she doesn't know. Precisely, even the guards on duty here were unaware of my presence. What? To fool your enemies, first you must fool your friends. It's my own original proverb. Anyway, anyway, back to what happened last night. That's incredibly sus. As I was saying, I hid here in the warehouse and waited for the thief to arrive. But I swear to you, not a solitary soul came through that entrance. Nevertheless, the sacred urn disappeared. B but that's impossible. How could you just disappear? How, you ask? Don't be ridiculous, sir, lawyer. If I knew the answer to that question, I wouldn't be here. I'm just gonna lurk for no spoilers. All right, Rooster, I appreciate that, man. For someone who seriously messed up his own stakeout, he's rather full of himself. So you're saying that even though no one came through those doors last night, our precious urn still somehow vanished from under your nose? That's just not possible. And now I'm stuck. Okay, um, do I present anything to you? I don't really, can I check what it says? To the security at Lordly Taylor, I will be coming to purloin the most priceless work of art and display in your Treasures of Karain exhibit. Take a tear of the speckled urn, won't you? Yours truly, Mask to Mask. Okay, I don't like this guy, by the way. I don't think any, I don't think you're supposed to like this guy, to be honest. I, I don't think you're supposed to. The sword. So lawyer, please refrain from such crude behavior. Huh? What do you mean? This criminal is an artist. The crime scene is like which a canvas upon which he paints. Only I, ace detective at me, have an eye which is educated enough to read the signs. Did you translate that for me, Nick? I think he pretty much said don't touch anything, amateurs. If there's something you wish to know about, you have but to ask at me. I know everything there is to know about my rival, Mask to Mask. What do I do now? Does he have any top secret information? Stuff that only a real crime buff would know? Hmm. All right, all right. Can I talk to you about anything? Nothing else, okay. Let's present. Uh, what about the calling card? Master Max's calling card. It's got his emblem printed on it, right? At me could be mask, very much so, but do you see a hole for his nose in that mask? I don't know about that one, chat. <laughs> Quite impressive, but I would expect nothing less from my arch rival. I'm supposed I'm surprised to see you in possession of such a top secret piece of information Well, we've got an ace lawyer an ace speedy moon and an ace appre cousin apprentice here Yes, indeed. I think I could learn to like you my fellow ace professionals. I don't know if I really want this guy to like us ever Well, sir lawyer I've been told that you are Two are pursuing the mysterious thief. Well, I'm not sure I would say that exact. That's right. We're gonna find the sacred urn no matter what we have to do. Excellent. I will trust you. I permit you to take a look around while I investigate elsewhere. If perchance you should discover something of value, return them to my office. My office of earthly delights, the Atme Detective Agency. Uh, office of earthly delights? Well then, sir lawyer, if you'll excuse me, I have much to do. Wait a minute. Oh man, he's gone. I don't like the idea of doing this guy's work for him. Come on, Nick. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Let's hurry up and investigate before he changes his mind. I want to go to his office too. Take me with you, okay? A bomb. Okay, hold on. I'm grooving out to this chat. Hey, Pearly, do you know what this is? It's a computer. A computer? Oh, I've heard of those. It has such a cute name. It looks like this computer is restoring the data from the security camera. When someone comes in or out of the warehouse, the camera takes a photo of them. It's probably the trap that a detective set up. Let's see if we can find last night's data on this thing. We might even find a photo of Master Mask. Hmm, let's see here. Man, I really sink at working these things. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? You're sweating an awful lot. I don't know how to pull up the photos. I had no idea you were so pathetic with high-tech stuff, Nick. Yeah, well, I managed to print out the camera data anyway. 
I guess you have to learn the crawl before you can walk, right, Nick? Yeah, sure. Anyway, it looks like the camera only went off once last night. What? Butter dog, dog with the butter. Butter dog, dog with the butter. Dog with the butter. Dog butter dog. Dog with the butter. Your Honor, can I present butter dog? Butter dog, the dog with the butter on. Butter dog. Butter dog, dog with the butter. 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 Hello, how you doing? Farewell. Okay, camera data. I won 1 a.m. Okay. Sword is broken. The shishito. Wow, this is awesome. What did Miss Angie say this was called again? Shishito. It's literally seven branch sword in Japanese. Or so says Miss Andrews. Whoa, it's pretty heavy. One hit, seven times the fun. Pretty catchy, huh? I bet it'd sell like hotcakes. Um, there's something about it that bothers me. Stop tea posing in my room. Please, please exit the vicinity. You, you, you are Master Mask. You're just a, you're just a hater, and I don't need you in my life. Get out of here, at me looking freaking. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Rosie is so confused. All right. Mm. Wow, you're really firing on all cylinders today, Pearly. This sword wasn't Mystic Ami holding it last night. Uh. Stop moaning. And another thing, this sword wasn't bent like that last night like it is now. Brothers are weird. Yeah, you're right. Awesome, Pearly. I wouldn't expect any less from my little ace of princess. The sword is bent, so that must mean last night someone used it somehow. Aha, I just thought of something. Maybe Detective Atme smashed Master Mask with it. Like this. Ouch! What the heck? What do you think, Pearly? I think it's even more bent now than it was before. Oh man, my head, my hair! <laughs> okay. I love the jamming music right now. I'm the jamming ninja right now, chat. Wait. The pathetic looking wooden box. Ah! That's the box that had the sacred urn in it. Don't touch it, there may be clues to the thief's identity on there. Urgh, I worked so hard to make that box. Huh? You made that poor excuse for a box, Maya? What's that supposed to mean? That urn has always been on its stand in the winding way of Fae Manor. So there was no box suitable for it, Mr. Nick. And I, I was so proud of it. <laughs> Poor Maya. Maybe it'd been better if Master Master had taken the box, too. Oh, rip. Why is the music such a bop, chat? Look what you did, Nick. You spilled paint over here. I didn't do that. You can see the corner of the box right here. Well, it wasn't here last night. I would have noticed a color this outrageous. But this paint has already dried up. Well then, you should not You should have cleaned it up before it dried, Nick. Paint doesn't dry that fast. And besides, I told you it wasn't me. Looks like it's been several days since it was spilled. Hey, look at this. What is it? There's some kind of shape left in the bottom left side of the stain. Huh? You're right. I wonder what it could be. It's clearly the box. Okay. Statue? The statue of Mystic Ami is so cool. I want a gold statue of myself. We could put it in the office. Hey, it's right, Enko. How about we get a gold statue of me? Uh, Mr. Nick, I'm sorry, but I noticed something strange. Huh? What is it, Pearls? The statue of Mystic Ami. Was this where it was last night? Ah. It was covering up the paint. I'm pretty sure it was closer to the door. Yeah, I think you're right. Great job, Pearly. I wouldn't expect anything less from my ace cousin. So the stat- Why does her title get shorter every single time Maya says it? So the statue is moved on the night of the crime. Okay. Why is Pearl the best detective here? I don't get it. Organi? Some of the letters are missing. It says Organi. No, it doesn't, Nick. It says Organize. You can't just see the last two letters. Yeah, well, I guess no one else could read it either because this place is a mess. Yeah, you must feel right at home, huh? <laughs> right at home. Okay, I guess not. Mr. Nick, what's that big door over there? It looks like it's the door to the actual storeroom. I can see lots of big boxes and stuff back there. I guess that's where they were keeping the sacred urn. Remember, my uh, Miss Andrews said we're not allowed in there. Miss Andrews, Miss Schmandrews. Let's go back there, Phoenix. You f Ugh. Camera's up there, not the hair. It's a security camera, it's trained on the big door to the storeroom. It's set up to take a photo of everyone that goes in or out. 
A security key camera? Yeah, go stand in front of that door and it'll snap your photo too, Pearly. Um, do you think my do you think I should smile? <laughs> nah, it's for criminals, so I think you should make a really scary face. Like this. Okay. I I we don't get to see scary face. Okay, so there's nothing really here. Burr! Looks like a part of a big sign, but all I can read on it is the burr. Aha! I've got it! Maybe it's supposed to say hamburger! Why would anyone write hamburger that big? Like, maybe for the World Hamburger Festival or something. I kind of doubt it. Aha! I've got it! Maybe it said spaghetti! Why are you talking about food? Oh wait, that's normal for you. Anyway, it says burr. There's no way it could be spaghetti. Well, maybe it was a typo. It might have said spaghetti festival. What do you think? Okay to me. Besides, spaghetti is the only thing more tangled than your reasoning. I'm kind of grooving right now, chat. You don't even know. I guess you do know you can see me. But like, yeah, I can't really see anything else. So I guess we'll move out of here. Oh! I'll take a drink right now while this ringtone plays. Ah, the Steel Samurai theme is so funny. Hey Nick, your cell phone's ringing. Beep. Hello, Phoenix right here. Oh, ho, 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 it's me, Gumshoe. Gumshoe, what is it? What's so funny? I'll tell you what's funny, pal. I finally beat him. I beat Mr. Ace Detective. Finally. This underdog is the alpha dog today. That stuck-up detective's met his match. Yep. I finally caught him. Lock, stock, and barrel. There's no escape for him. You caught him? Are you saying... Y you captured Master Mask? Bingo! <laughs> well, I actually surrendered. But I still got him. Master Mask surrendered? That's great. So when can we come and pick up the sacred urn? Um, uh, well, you see, I was gonna tell you. What? Something wrong? Do you think you can swing by the detention center sometime? The detention center? He wants to talk to you. Master Mask, that is. What? He wants to talk to Nick? I'll be waiting for you, pal. So get over here soon. Beep. The detention center, huh? I guess we're going to the detention center. Ooh, I could go to the at me agency? Not right now. I'll do that later. Detention center, here we go. I wanna see this guy. Hey, pal, welcome to the detention center. You're sure in a happy mood, aren't you? Yep, after all, we got messed him. Right, but, um, so where's the sacred urn? A beach has risen from the dead? Oh, sorry about that, pal. I guess I didn't really think about it before. But you're the victim in this case. Huh? <laughs> well, I guess I should let you guys hear the story straight from the horse's mouth. You know, he's right, Nick. He is? If you think about it real hard, we are the victims. Well, I guess so. In a way. Um, I'm so used to thinking of the victim as a dead person because we're always on murder cases. I excuse me. But anyway, I have to get the sacred urn back. Please, don't just ignore me. Oh my god. What's up? Uh, um, who are you? I, uh, um, I, 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 I'm a m m master mask. Uh, okay. Is that a boy or a girl? Hey, Nick, doesn't he look... Oh, okay, it's here. Well, gangly? I'm Ron Delight, the famous master mask. I don't think this guy could punch his way out of a wet paper bag. Ron Delight? So, you're the Master Mask guy? Yes, you bet! No, er, that's wrong. You see, it's complicated, sort of yes and sort of no, if you know what I mean. Huh? What's wrong? Well, when I say wrong, what I really mean to say is that it's not right, per se. You see, it's not spelled mask to mask, like it's actually mask to mask. What's with this guy? Well, he's a bit timid. He's a timid little weakling, we know that much. Don't do that. Don't look at me like that! I don't need your pity! 
and a major crybaby too. So why did you give yourself up? Well, you see, it's because, well, I know why. It's because you stole such a priceless treasure, and now you're overwhelmed with guilt. Am I right? Priceless treasure? That broken old urn? Um, I have a little favor to ask. Uh, yes? What is it? Could you go and talk to Desi? Desi? Oh god, let me talk about the urn first. Look, we really want our urn back, so where is it? I'm sorry, I'll give it back. I really will. Er, maybe not. No, I can't. I can't make promises I can't keep. I'll just end up hurting people. Um, Mr. Nick, I can hear what he just said, especially the- Okay, so whenever the text, like, grays, he's, like, quieting down. Okay, that's interesting. Um, Mr. Damask, do you think you could speak up a little? Y yes, sir. I will. I promise. Er, maybe not. You see, I'm already speaking in my normal voice, so I can't really know. Mr. Damask, about the urn. Oh, yes, the urn. Right away. Er, actually, no. I wouldn't mind telling you, but actually, I'm afraid you wouldn't believe me anyway. Enough already. Just tell it to us straight. Please, please don't yell at me. <sighs> I, I, I'm sorry. That urn, I, I lost it. What? Oh, God. What's up with this guy? Kind of annoying. <laughs> what did you just say? Did you say you lost it? Yes, or no, or maybe so. I mean, yes, I lost it. What do you mean? Well, you know, I lost it, like I said. These things just happen. You're on the train, and you get distracted, and you forget your bag, you know. What? You forgot your sacred urn on a train? Wait a minute, you went on the train just like that? No, I, I, I was just speaking hypothetically, that's all. Anyway, I'm sorry. I just lost it somewhere. I don't know where. This guy's story is more surreal than a dolly painting. Are you really sure this creep is master mask? I don't call him a creep. Although I do have to admit, I understand your doubts about this guy. I wonder if he actually is master mask. So who is this Desi person? <laughs> Please don't talk about my wife like that. I guess she must be his wife. <sighs> I'm sorry, the truth is, it was my wife that told me to have you all come here. Um, do you think you can go and visit her at my hideout? H hideout? Mr. Nick, what does he mean by hideout? Oh, sorry. Naturally, I meant to say my secret base. Secret base? Well, my apartment, actually. Palazzo Pelepe, third floor. Let's go have a look, Nick, to Master Mask's hideout. Something tells me she just likes the sound of the word hideout. All right. Well, I did not. I meant to click backspace, and I clicked enter again. Why am I doing this? Hmm. Okay, we'll go to your hideout, bro. Mm. Emblem, emblem. That's weird. If he wasn't Master Mask, how did he know about the emblem? Interesting. Okay. Wow, check this place out. No doubt about it, this is Master Mask's hideout, alright. Who is it? Is that you, Ronnie? Oh, okay. Huh? Who are you people? Er, um, are you Desi Delight? That's right, I'm Desiree. Ah, oh, you must be the lawyer and the victim. Uh, yeah, that's us. Your husband told us to stop by and speak with you. I'm Maya Faye, and this is Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Mickey boy and Maya, huh? I can't tell you how grateful I am you decided to help my Ronnie. Well, um, <laughs> you're welcome. Did she really call me Nikki boy? I like that. I like that actually. Um, about your husband. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? A bit weak sometimes though. A bit? By the way, did you know they mentioned Maya on TV? Huh, really? They said you own the urn and that you're doing some shady training at a law office now. Remind me not to watch that channel's news program. After I saw that, I thought it might be a good idea to meet the lawyer they mentioned. I see. My Ronnie, he has a powerful imagination and gets deluded easily. He kept insisting he was going to surrender to the police. I didn't know what to do. It was me, I stole that urn, he kept saying, as if it was even possible. Huh? But are you saying he didn't? <laughs> of course he didn't. Why would my Ronnie ever do something like that? Well, you know, he, it, it's a priceless treasure, and he's, you know... Is it possible his own wife doesn't know his secret identity? 
Oh my god. Me? I'm the kind of woman that needs excitement in her life. Oh, excitement, huh? <laughs> yes, I'm my, my happiest when I'm racing along with my bike going at full throttle. Riding a motorcycle is like putting your life on the line. You know what I mean? Well, I think that depends on how you ride it. I'm the type that can't stand living a boring, dreary old life with no action. No offense, but your husband, Ron, doesn't exactly look like the risk-taking type himself. You're right about that. He's definitely not one for thrills and danger. But I do have to say that he makes up for it in other ways. Cheeky smile! I don't know about that! <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about this one. <laughs> I want to make a joke. I want to make a joke, but Rosie Sims is in the chat, and I don't want to. I, I don't want to make the joke with Rosie Sims in the chat. It'll 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 it'll, it'll ruin her. <laughs> I don't know. Other ways? Yes, money. Ronnie is incredibly ri okay. <sighs> I thought I was literally like, <laughs> I peg him, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Ronnie is incredibly rich and super generous. He bought me a bike that's so fast it would make your head spin. And shopping? I like to shop so much it makes Ron's head spin. The other day it actually happened. His head actually started to spin. Man, talk about a high maintenance wife. So where does Mr. Delight get all of his money from? Ronnie is a security guard. They put their lives on the line, right? So they get paid tons of money in return. Tons of it. He's a security guard? I think it's my turn for my head to spin. Can you tell us about what happened last night? Hmm, what time did that incident take place again? What time was it again, Maya? Well, according to Detective Gumshoe, it was around 1.30 in the morning. Ah, last night was horrible. I got pulled over. Pulled over. Yes, I always do my best flying at night. Flying? Um, you're talking about your motorcycle, right? I don't really care, my mom is worse. Yes, anyway, last night I got pulled over by a policeman. I can't believe he caught up to me. It was a great chase, let me tell you. When he finally caught me, the poor man was as white as a sheet. It was about three in the morning when I finally got home. Sounds like she's got an airtight alibi. Well, what about Mr. Delight? I don't really know. We weren't together at the time of the night. But when I got home, he was already fast asleep. So basically, he's got no alibi. Great. The emblem is my most sus thing. Oh, that's so cute. It's called a hot air balloon, you know? Wow, there's no fooling you. I want to make my own balloon now. I'll even let you ride in it, Nick. That emblem on the balloon is supposed to be top secret. That's proof enough that Ron Delight really is Master Mask. I'd better not tell Maya. She gets kind of scary when it comes to celebrities. <laughs> um... Hey, Nick, look on top of the chair. Looks like an envelope and a letter. Well, don't just stand there. Come on, let's read it. Maya, you know we shouldn't do that. What are you talking about? That letter could be an important clue. No way. You can't just go reading a private letter because you feel like it. <laughs> it's not just because I feel like it. It really could be important. If I was sure it was a clue, I guess I wouldn't mind. Ooh, that might be a clue later then. It's Master Mask. There's a tape recorder hanging from his neck. Let me see that. Click. Ahahahahaha! I'll be taking this crown now. Better luck next time, gentlemen. <laughs> I don't get it. What's this supposed to? Oh my god. Wait. Is that the. Holy crap. What if Ron Delight. Or like. Ron Delight doesn't actually steal anything. What if he just like. Like that's a balloon. For mask to mask. Right. So that could be the silhouette. And then the tape recorder is like his voice. And there's like a pun of hot air balloon stuff over here. What if he just flies a kite of Master Mask or something? What the heck? Oh, this is wacky. Nick, it's a torpedo. It's hard to believe, but it sure looks real. Where could he have picked up something like this? Please don't say that torpedoes are things people just leave lying around. I, uh, th I think they were talking about that, but... Gun? I don't know about that one. Beard. It's a bunch of cheap costume pieces arranged in a nice frame. Look, Nick, it's a fake beard. There's also a mask made out of cardboard. Here, Nick, try on this fake beard. Come on, try it on. Hey, cut it out. Now put on the mask. <laughs> it's Phoenix to mask. Let's borrow it for a while. No way, I'm not stealing from a thief. I have enough bad karma as is. <laughs> I'm a lawyer. What is that? Hmm, this thing looks vaguely familiar. Oh, I know, it's a fishbowl. Well, an upside down one anyway. I think it's a helmet. An alien helmet. 
And that looks like a tape recorder or something next to it. I think it's a transceiver. An alien transceiver. Nick, do you think maybe you could act like a grown-up for a little bit? Getting lectured by Maya to be more of an adult. That's a new low. That's Old Bag's costume from last game. That's funny. There's a whole bunch of stuff piled up over there. Duck and cover, it's a missile. Did you know that there's dynamite and missiles? But they're not heavy enough to be real. Oh, wait, they're just well-made toys. What are these rolls of paper stuck in the trash can? Theft of the Mazarin Stone, the great albatross strategy. Theft of the immortal goddess statue, the great knuckle bomber strategy. Did the police even, invest even investigate this place? Nothing. There's books here. I'll look at these. There are a bunch of books lying here. They're all romantic sounding novels about famous heist and fantastic thieves. Wow, look at all the bookmarks and notes stuck to them. Let's see here. No, must remember this thief's way of laughing. Very useful. No, a calling card is an important part of any good thief's modus operandi. Wow, Ron really studied his stuff. I think he's just... Oh, hello, Desiree. Ooh. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, sorry. <clears throat> Married woman. Okay, um, what do you know about this? Um, so what do you know about this? No, you can't show her that, Nick. That emblem is top secret, don't you remember? No. Oh, oops, sorry about that. But the way she just said top secret was a worse giveaway than what I did. Oh, when I hear the word top secret, it just piques my interest like nothing else. Oh, God. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, what about... I don't really think I can... Did you know about this place, maybe? That's so mysterious looking. I love old stuff like this. Really? That's one of our most treasured possessions. There's gonna be a whole exhibit. Oh! Maya looks so happy. She's like a lit up a thousand watt bulb. Terrific. You can count on me and Ronnie to be there. Sounds like fun. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Ha ha ha. Oops. Looks like that la light bulb was starting to flicker. Okay. It's nothing important. I don't think there's anything we can talk about. Let's go to at me detective agency. Why not? Oh my god. He's got a portrait of himself, man. Mmm. Oh god. This is a detective agency? Looks more like the set of some B-grade horror movie. Hello? Is anyone here? Looks like nobody's home. Hm, what a waste of time. Hey, I know. Let's take a f that framed picture back with us as a memento. Don't you dare, Maya. I guess we'll have to try it back later. So he's not here. Okay. Oh, thank you, re 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 for, for the follow. Very appreciated. Welcome to the stream. Uh, okay. We talked to your wife, homie. What do you... I, I talked to your wife. Okay, wait. Pro... Oh, profiles! I forgot that I could present profiles to people. Okay. Seems to be very friendly and outgoing lady. Head of security. Okay, so she might be important to this case as well, huh? What do you think about Mask to Mask? Uh, at first, it took me a while to understand what game you're playing, then I remembered which game it is. <laughs> Ever since I was a little boy, I've always been interested in mysterious masked men. Oh boy, what a great out-of-context sentence. Uh, so that's what you wanted to be when you grew up? Yes. Er, no. Sort of, but not exactly. Sus. I never imagined I'd feel as bad as I do now about the treasures being stolen. People sure can be complicated, can't they? What do you think about your wife? <laughs> That's my lovely wife. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah, she sure is. Glare. <laughs> oh boy, the one topic I didn't want to get into in front of pearls. But Desi doesn't approve of my interests, so I'm afraid she doesn't like me anymore. What should I do? If I want to win her back, I'm really going to have to be super honest. Oh boy, he's gone back into his own little world again. So, okay, maybe we should go try presenting profiles to her. Uh, what do you think about your husband? What do you think? I know he doesn't look it, but he can really get things done when he puts his mind to it. Really? So when exactly does he put his mind into it? Well, not very often, I admit. What exactly does Miss Delight see in her husband anyway? Wow, you must have really seen Skyrockets when you first met to love him so much. Skyrockets? I don't know people still use that word. Okay, uh, that, maybe? Uh, Miss Delight, you must know, right? Oh, okay. About your husband and Mask the Mask. Mask the Mask? Of course, I know all about it. My husband is his biggest fan. Oh! <laughs> this got complicated real quick. Yup. Huh? Biggest fan? Yes, and Ronnie can be pretty delusional sometimes. That's how this whole misunderstanding happened. Wait a minute, did you say delusional? 
Yes, that's right. I just don't know what I'm going to do with him. See, Ronnie actually believes that he is Master Mask. What? What are you talking about? But the emblem. Okay, this is complicated, huh? Delusions. So when did Ron first become Master Mask? What are you talking about? He's not Master Mask. Huh? But wait a second. Look around at this room. This place is obviously Master Mask's hideout. No, no. You're totally wrong. A real thief's hideout wouldn't look like this. It's because Ronnie is so timid himself that he looks up to heroic figures. Heroic figures? But Master Mask is a bad guy. So he's deluded, huh? Could that really be true? Anyway, if he really had stolen the urn, wouldn't he have it? Well, I suppose so. Then why don't you ask him if he has the urn or not? She has a point. Mr. Delight isn't exactly the criminal type. But something about Ron's behavior bothers me. He looks... Uh, <laughs> he's kind of looking at me with that side eye like... You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's true. Maybe Mr. Delight isn't mas Master Mask after all. Say, can I ask you something, Nikki boy? What is it? I know I may seem like a bad girl on the outside, but the one thing I won't stand for is illegal activity. I had the, says the girl who was pulled over in a police chase for speeding. <clears throat> Sorry. I had the feeling you wouldn't. You're tough, but I can tell you got a good heart. Somebody framed my poor Ronnie. I just know it. Um, could you give this to Ronnie for me? A letter? Yes, for Ronnie. I want him to fight back. Miss Delight. Okay, you've got it. Just relax and leave it all to us. Addressed to her husband, Ron Delight. Apparently contains something important. Okay, so now we can go back to Ron. What are you doing, Ron? Come on, Ron. Oh, that's right. Here, this is from your wife. Oh, from Desi? Thank you. Letter given to Master Mask. Actually, more like taken. <laughs> My dear Ronnie, how are you? I'm doing fine. He's clutching onto that letter so hard the ink is going to be squeezed out. He looks so happy. You should write a letter to Mystic Maya too, Mr. Nick. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, what did the letter say, homie? Um, Mr. Lawyer. Yes? In the letter that Desi wrote, she said, Ask this guy to be your lawyer. Huh? Er, um, I know this will be asking a lot, but... Could you please take my case? My trial starts tomorrow. Hey, hang on a second. He can't be your lawyer. Why not? What do you mean, why not? We're the victims in this case, right? Victims of this Damask guy. Well, yeah, but according to Desiree, he didn't do it. She said, poor man, he's deluded himself into thinking he did it. Right, Mr. Nick? Come on, she could be lying to protect her husband. Well, that's true. Or, no, actually not. Actually, it's hard to say. Oh, no, it's spreading. <laughs> oh, please. I'll give you the treasure of your choice in return. Hmm, what should I do? Take his case. Well, Mr. Delight, I've decided to give it a try. I'll defend you. Really? You will? Hey, what are you doing, Nick? He's a thief. You can't trust him. Well, he may be a thief, but I think there's more to this case than meets the eye. Mr. Nick, I was wrong about you. I shouldn't have trusted you. Oh my god, pearls! I can't believe you defend this person after what he did to Ms. Maya. I'll never forgive you, ever! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but Pearly, wait! This is gonna be ugly. I'll go after her. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Was I supposed to do that? What's up, Ron? I just gave away my two assistants for you. So, uh... I hope you're a good kisser, Ron. Oh, so I don't know what I don't know what I don't know what joke I was trying to make there. Um, sorry about that. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Well, you couldn't have known she'd react like that. I guess I might as well start investigating. Oh, oh, Maya, where's Pearls? She said she's going back to the office. Go check in on her later, would you? And what about you? Are you okay with me taking Mr. Delight's case? Yeah, I'm fine, Nick. I believe in you. Sniffle. I think I'm going to cry. Um, I, uh, I know you have a lot of work to do. I, I really appreciate it. Okay, Nick, let's give this, let's get this show on the road. Okay. <sighs> I'm just thinking about everything. The main thing for me right now, right, is like, oh, God. Um, 
Oh, maybe we should, um, yeah, we need to go back to Pearl. The main thing right now is that the emblem, the emblem is really the stickler in, you know, for this whole thing right now. Ah, Mr. Nick, welcome back. Oh, hey, Pearls, you're back too, I see. I, um, I went and bought us a strawberry cake. I'll go make some tea to go with it. Hey, uh, Pearls? It looks like she feels really bad about what happened at the detention center. Yeah, I don't need a flashback. I just saw this. I'm sorry game. You're getting a little dong and rampa here right now Missing Maya the tea is ready. Oh, thanks. Come on. Mr. Nick, please have some of this cake I laced it with aphrodisiacs Yeah, thanks. Um pearls. Oh, excuse me. I was in the middle of cleaning the toilet <laughs> What the heck is up with this game? Hey, it's okay. I just cleaned it this morning Too late. This might be a good time for me to ask about her Pearl. I first met Pearls a year ago. Whoo! Back to the past! Yeah, oh god. It was when that murder happened in Karine Village. I still remember what she said to me when we first met. You, you're Mr. Nick, right? You're... You're Miss Digmaya's special someone. <laughs> hey, Maya. I've always thought it was because she was young, but... But what? Pearls, I think she's got the wrong idea about... You and me. Huh? Uh, I... Um... There's something you need to understand. What is it? Um... It's kind of like a Karine Village custom, sort of. Oh god, I don't... I Let's find out about this. There are hardly any men in Karine Village. Right? I, I remember this. I remember this. This was a... Now that you mention it, I've never actually saw any men there when I visited. I'm pretty sure I told you about it a long time ago. About how spiritual powers run very strong in the Fey family. Yeah, you did, and that's why you're undergoing training to be a spirit medium, right? Yeah, the thing is, only women can actually inherit the spiritual power. That's why the whole culture of Crime Village kind of revolves around its women. Well, that's understandable. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but because of that, uh, there tends to be a lot of unsuccessful marriages. Oh. Well, men start to feel left out after a while, and then they just start leaving. Especially if the man has a daughter. Are you saying that Pearls' father... He's gone. He left the village when she was very young. Oh boy, that's tough. Yeah, and she grew up seeing nothing but unhappy marriages all around her. Oh god, sounds like a soap opera. Sounds That's why she's so sensitive to things like that. Okay, sure. Pearl seems to love you a lot. Well, it's because I'm her only cousin, and, well, because of the murder case last year, Pearlie's mother is... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. I remember now. Pearls' mother, Morgan Fay. She's serving a prison term in isolation right now. <laughs> kind of arranged the murder of a man. <laughs> so, you see, I'm the only family Pearlie has right now. But it's the same for me, too. Maya. My mother's gone, too. God, we're just catching all the way up. Okay, Rosie, sit down. You're, you're getting the full story, right? This game was made specifically for you. <laughs> so your mother's still missing? Yeah, no one has any idea where she is. Maya's mother, Misty Fay, the current master of the crime channeling technique. She disappeared 17 years ago after getting involved in a certain police case. But you're sure she's still alive, right? Yeah, I know she is. It's sort of a spirit medium thing, and if your mother doesn't come back, then what? Then according to the laws of the village, I'll become the next master. Mystic Maya, the master of the crying technique. Sounds like a heavy responsibility. Yeah, but there's no one else with the blood of the Fey main family who's a spirit medium. Well, Nick, why don't we go out and start investigating? We're not going to learn anything just sitting around the office. Yeah, I know. But first I want to talk to Pearls. Um, Mr. Nick? Yeah? I I knew like a baby. I'm only nine years old. Pearls? I doubted you. Even though Mr. My is like my address is you can really. I <laughs> Mr. Nick. <laughs> yes? I from the bottom of my heart, I apologize for what I said. Oh, that's okay. I'm the one that Well, I'm going out for a little bit. Huh? Where are you going? I may be small, but I still have a lot of spirit channeling power. I'm gonna show you I can be useful too by finding some evidence. Don't get kidnapped or anything, all right? I'm still like reeling from the last trial of the last game where Maya got kidnapped and almost starved to death. 
So, don't get kidnapped by any butlers, all right? Hey, wait a... Ah, she sure runs fast. Nick, let's back off and give her some room, okay? Yeah. All right, just you and me. We're gonna head out. Maybe we can go to at me now. I guess we cannot go to at me now. Uh, don't at me like that, all right? Okay, we'll go here. Maya! Oh, God! Adrian! Jesus Christ! I've never seen her like this. Jesus, dude. How could you let a child go by his... I don't know, bro. She passed, though. Oh, Miss Andrews. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. Your precious urn. Your precious urn. Oh, my. I've never seen her like this before. Jesus. Uh, please, calm down. What's wrong? It never ends. Everything I touch ends in failure. Maya, I'm sorry. I'll do anything to make it up to you. No, it's okay. I know I don't look good, but I'm good with my hands. I can make you another urn. Hold on. J j just wait, okay? Breathe. Calm down and talk to us. Forgive me. Forgive me. God. I- Oh, God. Dude. Freaking turnabout farewell. Like, the last case of the last game. I know I keep bringing it up. But it was so good, man. I felt so bad for Andrews the entire time. Okay. Um, so when did you get the calling card from Mask to Mask? Let's see, exactly 10 days ago. Also, I like her new haircut, by the way. She cut all of her hair in the back. I like it. I was going to show it to the police, but that detective stopped me. Um, so you asked Detective Atme to help you with security? Yes. In fact, it was about 20 days ago that I hired him. He seemed to know much more about Master Mask than the police. So you hired him for security even before the calling card arrived? Well, yes. I had a premonition that something bad might happen. I learned to trust my hunches. So that's why there are security cameras, even in the basement warehouse? Yes, Lordly Taylor is very serious about their security measures. It was their way of saying, bring it on, to any potential thieves. Well, he sure brought it last night and even left with a nice souvenir. Oh, the poor soul. Uh, I feel, I, I still feel bad for um, Adrian. I want to know what she's been up to, low-key, but I guess we'll find out later, maybe. Can you tell us a bit about the security for the treasure exhibit? It was all my fault! I never should have called this paltry little collection a treasure exhibit anyway. Why do you say that? The urn that was stolen is a pretty important object. The poor book is all bent up from the way she's- Yeah, she's like- <laughs> And I like how she's like, I'm good with my hands, and she's like crunching the book in half, bro. I'm glad she's not around Matt on guard anymore. Because Matt on guard- Oh my god. He was- Oh, he was a- He was a rough one, chat. Let me just say that. Maybe, but its actual value after appraisal was, well, practically zero. Zero? I polished it until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. But that urn contains the soul of Mr. Kami. Anyway, I left all the security arrangements of Detective at me. But five days ago, I began receiving all sorts of other exhibit items from Karain. Lots of people started going in and out of the warehouse down there. So maybe one of them was actually mask to mask in disguise. No, I personally checked out everyone that came through here, so that's not possible. Knowing that, knowing Adrian, she probably even checked out what they ate for breakfast that morning. Okay, you know about the calling card, though. Um, Miss Andrews? I know, I know. It's all my fault. Uh, but what's done is done. I'll make it up by making a new urn for you. I'm just wasting my time. She's too far gone. No, don't say that. Hey, can you show me how the computer works? No? Gotcha. Thank you. Oh, I feel so bad for Adrian, but you know what? It's okay. Um, is there really nothing I can talk to you about? Okay. Oh! At me! Look at me! Hello? Well, well, how lovely it is to see you again, my dear. Welcome to my ab I need a ring. Hold on, chat. Chat, wait, wait just a moment. I need something to complete this look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Welcome to my abode. Relax and soak up the atmosphere. Wait, wrong hand. Relax and soak up the atmosphere. The atmosphere. Uh, um, we're actually kind of silence. <laughs> Precisely as I expected. What is? Everybody! The truth has once again be elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium, am I correct? 
Um, I think we've already been through this. Bro, I joined MM2 and two copy paste chased me down because they like me. No, not as no friend. Oh gosh, regardless. You got them Roblox girls, bro. <laughs> so my estimation was correct. Zavari, how truly elegant. Now then, what can I do for you? I'm gonna take the ring off. <laughs> oh god. This guy is so sus. Like, he reeks. This guy genuinely reeks of being sus. He is like the sus. sus cap. like the mayor of sus town. Alright. Regardless, I'm gonna refund that. Can you refund that destroy your ears? I don't like to destroy. I don't like doing destroy your ears is during like story games where I'm reading a lot of dialogue. Uh, so can you please refund your owners destroy your ears? You mentioned before that you were on guard duty all alone last night. Precisely. This is my fifth encounter with my arch enemy. I refuse to allow anyone to interfere with the rightful pursuit of my prey. I heard you've been after mask to mask since his very first theft. Yes, my dear, I see you've done your homework. In his very first heist, that vile thief pilfered the famous jewel, the Tear of Eminem. I first encountered him in the museum's sacred hall, the crime scene itself. So that's why you were hired as security for the treasure exhibit? I'm pretty sure he said that Adrian Andrews hired him. Yes, I borrowed some equipment from Lordly Taylor and set up the perfect trap. You must mean the security camera. But I thought you were watching the area yourself too. So how did Master Mask manage to steal the urn? That monocle looks like a spoon. I would eat cereal out of it, you know what I'm saying? That's the million dollar question. What is Master Mask's modus operandi? Uh-oh. Um, Mr. Atme, do you know about the sacred urn? I'm interested in only one thing, my dear, and that is mask to mask. Sacred urn, pfft, that has nothing to do with this case. But wasn't that what Master Mask stole this time? I am a hunter, sir. The urn was nothing more than a lure to catch my prey. Do you, you yourselves remember the shape of the individual peanuts you throw to pigeons? I don't think I like this guy's attitude, Nick. Well, anyway, it looks like he doesn't know about the urn. Um, there's something that's kind of bothering me. Please, my dear, ask me anything you like. After all, we are all but seekers wandering alone into the dark. Well, I was wondering how Master Mask managed to steal the urn. I mean, isn't it strange that you don't seem to know? Yeah, now that you mention it, it is strange. After all, you were on guard that night at the scene of the crime. Unless you were sound asleep, you should have at least seen Master Mask. Uh-oh. Oh, these things are back! Oh, God. What the? These things are back, dude. It's a psych lock. Psych lock? Oh, frick, dude. There's a psych lock on this. Hey, Nick, what is this psych lock thing? Well, your Magatama lets me see when people are keeping secrets. By breaking their mental locks, I can find out what those secrets are. What? This Magatama has that kind of power? Maya, you're the one who gave me this Magatama last year. Well, it's true that this Magatama is a prized fa family heirloom, but Pearly was the one that actually imbued it with spiritual powers, right? That's why I don't really know much about what it can do. This is the woman that's going to take over the Karine Channeling School someday? So how do you do it? How do you pick the Cyclock thing? Well, you present the Magatama to the person with the secret. Cool, I can't wait to see it in action. Come on, try it out. Oh boy, I think the future master still needs to learn how to be patient. Oh god. I do like his theme though. Alright. Take that! Rich, do you suck at this game? How about we 1v1? How can you suck at Ace Attorney? That that's that's like not a thing. <laughs> Detective at me, you were standing guard at the scene of the crime. There's no way you didn't see Master Mask commit the crime. Well no, I can hardly see why you're so positive about that. Yes, indeed, I was guarding the warehouse, so that much is true. But I can tell you for certain that not a single person passed through that door. I'm not sure why, but this Atme guy is lying through his teeth. I know. I'll show him some proof. Detective Atme, I have here proof that someone went through that door last night. Take that! Take that! It's the camera. There was a security camera set up at the scene of the crime. It should have automatically taken a photo of anyone that went through that door. Precisely. 
I hope you don't mind, but we've already gotten our hands on the camera data. As you can see, the camera went off exactly once last night. Wah! But my monocle didn't catch anyone in its flash. It must be some kind of computer malfunction. It must be! Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. What? Are you saying that I didn't do my duty properly? The, the, the detective at me. You must have seen the thief last night. The question is, why are you trying to hide it? If he's hiding it, there must be some reason. Some reason that he desperately wants to keep hidden. Hmm. I've got just the pieces of evidence I should prove it. Okay, let's suppose you didn't manage to see Master Mask. In that case, the reason you didn't at that time was because you were... Um. So, I think it's unconscious. That's the only one that makes sense to me. I'm afraid that making a guess is not enough. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Show me your evidence. Oh, frick! I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't, I, I I clicked something I did not mean to present. I mean, he was hit with a sword. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> I freaking clicked something that was not the thing I wanted to click. Gah! At me, I hate you. All right, what's up, bro? What's up, broski? I have evidence. I have all the evidence. The Shishito. Take that. Detective at me? You were knocked unconscious by the thief, weren't you? Ha ha ha! Surely you must be joking. You think that I, Luke at me, would be knocked unconscious so easily? The sword proves it! Uh, that's... Before the theft, the sword was in the hand of the statue of Ami Fei. Furthermore, at that time, it was not bent. Uh... There's only one explanation. You were struck on the head and knocked unconscious by the sword. Well, detective, how about it? I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. Mm. Good for him, then. Happy late Pride Month. <laughs> there we go. If, if he is, if he, you know what? He does kind of hit me with that vibe, though. You know what I'm saying? Although, you know what? You know what, though? Luke at me. Definitely hits me with that kind of vibe that like he goes up to girls at like a party and he's like Hello, madam. Surely you know about me. Oh Would you take my arm and care for a dance? And she's like dude go away. And he's like Push now come on You know, that's that's the kind of vibe he gives me uh, I can't deny that there may be a small hint of truth in what you say Yeah, you know what? Pride existence chat. Pride, pr pride, uh, pr pride millennium. There we go. Amen. <laughs> so you were knocked out by the <laughs> pride until the sun's rays obliterate everyone on earth. <laughs> Big brain. So you were knocked out when the thief first clobbered you? Clobber. What an ugly way of saying it, but I suppose you could put it that way. The coward struck at the precise moment that I turned to look at the computer. So you never noticed the thief had entered the warehouse? No, the coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Perhaps the air ducts or the sewer pipes. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item here. Ouch. Mr. Abby should have his forehead examined. You can say that again. How could he have underestimated the thief that badly? Well, it looks like we got one thing cleared up anyway. Huh? What? That at me is the greatest ace detective in the world? <laughs> no, that he never actually saw the thief. Oh, that's right. So the thief may not even be masked to mask. Just one moment, sir lawyer. The thief was unquestionably masked to mask. But you never actually saw him. Perhaps so, but I installed a security camera for just such a contingency. Oh. Last night, the camera went off exactly once. Behold, this is a photo of the dastardly thief taken by the security camera. Ba -ba. That's him! Master Mask! Alright. 
the thief can be none other than the arch criminal, Mask de Mask. After all, he has a very good reason for committing such brazen crimes. What are you talking about? So, what do you mean by he had a very good reason? Exactly that. Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. There should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. You'll need to go and investigate. But how would you know about that? <laughs> Have you forgotten? You're speaking to the finest ace detective ever to walk on the face of the earth! The most brilliant mind since, well, ever! Look at me! Well, I guess we'd better go take a look just in case. I still love that his name is literally Look At Me. That's so funny. Hey, um, I'm gonna take this letter here. I hope you don't mind. Hey, Nick, remember what Detective Atme said? Flashback. Okay. A green envelope, huh? This looks like it. Okay, let's have a look. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, come to KB Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring $50,000. 50000 This is a blackmail letter. It sure looks like a major clue, all right. I keep hearing fireworks because of my headphones. It sounds like it's coming from inside. Ah, uh, R.I.P. R.I.P. Ding dong. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Won't take but a second. I promise. Oh, thank you for coming. That's so nice of you. When I see a damsel in distress, I just can't help myself. Please, come on in. I'll make some coffee. Really? Okay, I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. Wait a minute. I know that voice. Oh, Nikki boy. I'm so sorry, but I've got another guest. Ah! Y you're... Nick, it's you! And Maya, too. What a fluke! Oh, my God. It's Larry. Oh, God. Uh, Larry. A long time no see. What? You know each other? N Nikki boy? <laughs> Nick, do you and this girl have... You know, something going on? Something? If you mean what I think- I underestimated you, Nick! A gorgeous lady like this? And married too? Way to go, dude! I should give him a shaggy voice. <laughs> I knew it. Just when things can't get any worse, it's time to cue in the butts. Larry Butts. Ever since grade school, he's been... Not exactly a close friend, but yeah, we know each other. <laughs> hey, man, that wasn't nice. I was your very first client. We've got quite the storied history, you know, and what we used to say still rings true. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hi, Zoinks, dude. Hey, come on now. You're embarrassing me. And in front of this pretty little thing here. So you two are old childhood friends, I see. That's so sweet. You two go ahead and catch up on old times. I'm going to go check on my bike. Is she cheating? She might be. I hope not, because Ron, she, he doesn't deserve that. Nice girl, that Desi. So how you been, Nick? Too busy if you really want to know. Oh, God. I haven't seen Larry in forever, dude. So what have you been up to this whole time? It's been two years since I heard from you. And what's with those clothes? You look, well, weird. Hey, man, that's what I'm called for. This is my uniform from my part-time job. But I can't believe it's been two years. They say time flies when you're having fun. Ha 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 ha. Uh, what's wrong? Nick, I gotta tell you, women, I don't trust them anymore. You got dumped again? Well, you know, Benefer, I followed her all the way to Japan two years ago. That's where I met the famous Caddy Tom and my whole life changed. Benefer, Caddy Tom, I never heard of either of them. Anyway, dude, Caddy Tom chose Hollywood over me. Can you believe it? Well, actually, anyway, it sounds like you had quite the adventure. Women, they're so, so, uh. Oh, but you're different, Maya. You're not like, you're not like other girls. <laughs> Looks like he's still the same old Larry. So what are you doing here anyway? Huh? What do you mean by that? I'm just a natural born nice guy, that's all. Well, actually, I picked this up last night while I was working. A wallet? You say you found this last night? Yeah, it had a driver's license in it, so I figured I'd just return it myself. Oh, Ron's wallet. Night of the crime? Does Ron have an alibi after all? Wait, hang on. Let me see that for a minute. I knew it. Desi's picture is in here. 
Yeah, I guess he really digs his wife, huh? Hey, yo, leave Maya alone. <laughs> hey, Nick, it's not what you're thinking at all. Wait, hold on, real quick. I just gotta check. How old is Larry, anyway? 25, okay. Gotcha. So he's, I'm one year older than him. No, I'm pretty sure it is. You haven't changed a bit. Aw, oh, no way, man. I mean, she's a married woman. That's just bad news. He really is here just to check out Miss Delight. So you said you found it at your job, right? Yeah, I'm for I'm working for a private security company as a guard. Chicks just love a guy in uniform, you know? A security guard, huh? So that's what you that what uniform is all about. Wallet. So what time was it when you found this last night? Huh? Why are you asking that? Trying to see if I've got an alibi? Um, you're not the one on the hook for a crime this time, buddy. I guess it was around one in the morning on the first floor of our company building. What was Mr. Delight's wallet doing there? Anyway, there's nothing weird about that. After all, he works there. He works there? You mean Mr. Delight? Sure, here, take a look at this. It's right there in his wallet. What's this card? It's a key card for the security company. See, it's got a serial number on it right here. There's no mistake about it. You said you were working part-time at a security company, right? Wallet, wallet. That's right. Why are you making that scary face? Security company, huh? Something's not quite secure about Larry working there. I need to find out as much as I can about this key card. Why do I like Larry's theme? What the heck, bro? I love I love his theme. Or is this Larry is this Larry's theme or is it the, the house theme? Oh. Okay. Sure, Ron. You can you can go off and do whatever you're doing. Uh I guess maybe I'll present it to you. So you're sure about this key card? Yep, that's the key card we use at the building I work in. According to the serial number, this one's for the CEO's office. You need to get you need it to get into that room, and every time you use that card, it leaves a record. It leaves a record? I ate peppermint, then drank water. Fear me? Oh god, Rosa, you're scaring me right now. Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Larry, I need that data. Whoa, slow down, man. Sorry, but that data is off limits to outsiders. If I lost this job, I'd never have a chance with Desi. It's times like these when I wish lawyers weren't so powerless. Okay. You didn't touch anything in the wallet, did you? Hey, man, be serious. You know what I was interested in? If Master Mask doesn't look out, he's gonna be the victim of a robbery himself. Well, I don't think you have that much money, Larry, if I'm being honest. You don't, you don't strike me as a guy with that much money, and I think that's what she's really interested in, to be 100% honest with you guys. Does Amy want to see this or something? I love his theme. I don't know why. I just love that first part of his theme. I'm just... Okay, uh, it's gotta be something with Larry. I'm missing something. Present! Wait. Okay, this said something about KB security, right? Hey, Larry, what about this? What? If you got something to say, then say it already. Huh? A blackmail letter? Do you know anything about this? Whoa, what? I don't know anything about Alexis, and that's the truth. Huh? What? I can't believe you do this to me. I thought you were my friend. $50,000. I don't have that kind of money. No, no, no. You don't understand. This blackmail letter was sent to Ron Delight. Whew. Man, you scared me. I almost had a heart attack. Fuck. Wait, I'm the idiot. Man, I was totally confused because it says KB Security right on the envelope. Um, yeah, so what? Well, that's where I've got a part-time job at KB Security. What? Sounds like I should really find out more about this KB Security company. Tell me about it, bro. KB Security, the company in the blackmail letter. You know about it? That's where I work, yeah. In fact, I'm on the job right now. Huh? So what are you doing here, then? Well, the boss is away right now, and you know what mice do when the cat's away? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, anyway, how far away is this company? Well, let me see. About 30 minutes by car, I guess. Well, if you fly down the road, anyway. Hmm, well, this apartment building is pretty close to Lordly Taylor, right? And it would take roughly an hour to go from here to KB Security and back. If Ron Delight was at KB Security when the robbery occurred, then... Whoa! 
then he couldn't have stolen the sacred urn. 30 minutes away from his job while on the clock. Yeah, dude. Larry? He lives life dangerously. Hey, Nick, your phone. What an idiot. Listen, when something smells, it's usually the butts. All right. Beep. Hello? Is this the right residence? Ah, pearls! Where are you? I thought I'd go to Lordly Taylor to try to find some more clues, but I'm afraid I've gotten lost. What? Give me that phone, Nick. Pearly, where are you right now? Um, I was walking along and I found myself in front of that person's office. That person? Who? Um, that person who doesn't act his age and always says Zavari when he's excited? Look at me, Ace Detective. Okay, stay right there, we're coming to get you. Alright, I'm a little scared. Beep. Alright, let's go, Maya. Wait a second, Nick! What? That phone call just now. Sounded like a re- Oh No, 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 Larry. No, 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 no. Another one of your, ahem, <clears throat> special friends? Say goodbye to Miss Delight for me, would you, Larry? He doesn't know. I'ma just, I'ma just, I'ma just assume he couldn't quite hear who it was on the phone and leave it at that. Of course she got lost. This is why we don't let children go out by themselves. Hey, she once ran to like a two hour by train route by herself. All right. She is a sprinter. All right. L L um, Larry is not a bad guy. He, uh, he, uh, he's just really interested in ladies. He, he I, I'm, I'm just going to assume he did not know. That he was talking about a, uh, let's see, a nine-year-old! Okay. Ah, Mr. Nick, Ms. Maya, Pearly. I never thought I'd see the two of you again. Aw, oh, hello, Pearl. I'm okay now. <laughs> so, so is Mr. Ace Detective out of the office? Yes, when I arrived here, there wasn't a single soul in sight. Say, Nick, doesn't it look like something's changed since we were here last? There's a massive bag on the table. Now that you mention it. Oh, God. What was with the silence? This bag, I'm sure it wasn't here before. It looks quite full. I wonder what could be in here. Hey, Nick, come on, open it up. Hey, wait a minute, we can't just open his private property. Don't be such a fuddy-duddy. This is an important investigation. That's true, and truth be told, I have to admit, I am kind of curious. Well, it's in there. I did Pearl's voice for some reason. Hang on a second, I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. Well, hello there! He, he's here! What are you doing, sir lawyer? I'm shocked to see a servant of the court ignoring the law so flagrantly. Oh, I'm really sorry, Maya made me do it. Nick, I can't believe you. A gentleman never uses a lady as an excuse for his own poor behavior. The real question is, can you afford to waste time lollygagging about here? What do you mean by that? Perhaps I should make myself more clear. Tomorrow's trial, Zavari! Shall we say the figurative? Sir William will be dropping his panties before lunchtime? Wow, Nick, sounds like it's gonna be really exciting. I'm sorry, what did you say? I was not even, like, paying attention. Um, what's gonna happen at the trial tomorrow that's so dramatic? Do you know what your biggest mistake so far has been, sir lawyer? It was becoming a lawyer in the first place. That certainly does sound like a big mistake, Mr. Nick. <laughs> tomorrow will be a day to remember. I, look at me, will take the stand. And then, Zavari, my testimony will prove to be the undoing to the lot of you. Yes, all of you! I will unmask you as the thief's co-conspirators! Conspirators? <laughs> You're quick on the defensive, I see. However, it is not that I think... It is not I that is your greatest enemy. There is a far more dangerous threat that you will face during the trial. What are you talking about? Sir Lawyer, if you truly are who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. His name is... Godo. Godo. Godot? Godo? Godo. Alright, Godo. You have taken a step down the path of foolishness. To try to defend a career criminal who deserves nothing less than the death penalty. Hey, last time I checked, no one knows for sure that Ron Delight really is Master Mask. <laughs> My dear lady, times may change, but people sadly do not. 
Well, you will understand this when you are more mature. Um, who is this Godot person? Godo? It's not surprising that a spirit medium has not heard the name. This button is coming loose. That's not very good. I like this button jacket. I hope this button does not come off. Dodo! The prosecutor whose equal cannot be found in this country but in heaven! Godo, a legend or myth, men pin a lifetime of hopes on the chance to simply meet him. Prosecutor Godo. But the best prosecutor in the country isn't Godo, it's Mr. Edgeworth. Isn't that right, Nick? It's no surprise that the spirit medium such as yourself would know nothing of this. But Ace Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth is currently traveling abroad. Godot? Yeah, I don't know. Huh? In fact, it was Mr. Edgeworth who acknowledged Godot as the best in this country. And you agree with that? Most certainly. In fact, you could call him the Luke at me of the prosecutor's office. Well, that's good to hear. The prosecution has a fighting chance tomorrow. <laughs> Mr. Nick, is this Godot really that strong? Hmm, I seem to remember hearing about someone like that. Not surprising. Some people spend their entire lives idly waiting for his appearance. Looks like we're done investigating for the day. <laughs> Sir Lawyer, the stage has been set and all the pieces are finally in place. All that remains now is for the dance to begin. A new prosecutor, an ace detective, and a thief. This will be one tough trial. I guess we're not doing a murder trial this time. That's very interesting. To be continued. Mm. Ah. Oh my god, this Ah, oh, chat. You gotta love it. Yeah, this button is coming off. That's so sad. I like this. I like this jack. The suit. Why is the button coming off of this suit? There's only two buttons on this suit, bruh. Wait, is it like broken, broken? Frick. Whatever. I can get it tailored later. I'll leave it alone. You probably could get the button fixed. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Chat! I know it seems early, but that is gonna be the end of the stream today. Oh my god! What a, what a plot twist. Hold on, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Did I already save? I did, I did. I literally did just save, so. Right? I'm, I, I watched the stream replay and I just did. Ha 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 ha! Chat. I'm still wearing my pajama pants, if you could not notice. <laughs> all right, thank you guys so much for coming out. It's been an absolute pleasure of a time to have all of you here. Tomorrow, or not tomorrow, next Saturday, we're going to f beat Godo. Godot, Godo, whatever his name is. I will say, I know who this guy is. I've seen him before, because it's really hard to ignore the fan art, right? when I'm looking up thumbnails or whatever. And he is kind of on the cover of this game. So I know who he is. I know what he looks like. And I know that he really likes coffee. Which is why I started drinking coffee um, whenever I like play this game. Um, here he is. Hold on. I could literally show you what he looks like right now. Hold on. I, I have the cover of the game pulled up right here. Look at this. There is Phoenix. There's Mia, I mean, Maya, there's Pearls, there's Mia in the corner. You can't see her, but you can see her boobs over here. Uh, there's Edgeworth, our main man. There's Francisca, the prosecutor in the second game. And I'm assuming this is Godo. I'm, I'm assuming that this is the guy, right? Honestly, look at those teeth. Look at that. Look at the earrings. Oh, my man's, ooh, making me kind of sweat a little bit, but... We're going to beat him next week. So thank you guys so much for coming out. We're going to re... Turkleferia. We're going to raid him. Thank you guys so much for coming out. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Everybody hop into the raid. I hope you guys all have a great night. Probably totally just didn't look it up. It's He's on the cover of the game. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. I hope you all have an amazing day. Farewell, everybody.